G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. Today I'm going to show you a great visual proof that's going to show you how we can work out the area of a circle. It's going to prove that great little formula that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So stay tuned because it's a pretty awesome proof. So before we get to that, you may remember back at school when you were doing geometry in maths and there was a couple of formulas that used to get used when we'd work with circles. Do you remember what these were? Well, let me remind you. The first formula to do with circles was where we'd work out the distance around the outside. The distance around the outside, also called the circumference. Now, the circumference is easy to work out. What you do is you measure the distance across the circle, that is the diameter, and the circumference is equal to the diameter multiplied by pi. Pi, which is equal to 3.1415, so on and so forth. That's quite literally what pi is. Pi is a ratio between the diameter and the circumference here. You want to know what the distance around the outside of a circle is? Well, multiply the distance across by pi. Cool. Now, we can also take this a little bit further because if we have a line that goes from the center to the edge of our circle, that is the radius there, we can change this formula around a little bit. Because we know that the diameter is equal to twice the radius, we can change this formula so that we know that the circumference is also equal to this formula here, 2 pi r, okay? 2 times pi times r, cool. And you're probably used to more seeing this formula used right here. In fact, I'm just going to clean this up and leave that formula alone there. So the circumference is equal to 2 pi r. All right, awesome. Get rid of pi there. We don't need that anymore. The next formula we're going to be having a look at is the one that we're going to be doing the proof for, which is that for area. Now I'm just going to give you this formula straight away. The area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. But how do we go through and get this particular formula? Well, I'm going to show you this great little proof right now for this. So the way we're going to do this is I am first off going to get my circle here and I'm going to draw a series of concentric circles coming in. So let me do that right now. So there you have it. The next thing I'm going to do is starting at the center here, I'm now going to go through and cut all of these lines along a radius cut there. As you can see, starting at the center, running out to the edge, and I'm now going through and I've cut all my lines that I've made, the concentric circles I've made, I've now cut all those. So what I'm going to do is starting at the middle here, I'm now going to go through and start to unravel it. So I have this first part here, and if I was to unravel it, I'd end up with this nice little rectangle that looked a bit like this. So here it is, little rectangle looks a bit like this. The next one, I undo, and it's going to be a bit bigger. So here it is right here. And I'm going to continue to go through, going further and further out, and unravelling my rectangles that I now have. Big, longer rectangle lines. So there you have it. Now as you can see here, what I've made roughly here is a triangle that looks like it's a little bit like a column graph. As you can imagine, if you cut these into uh, closer and closer, smaller and smaller concentric circles, this would eventually begin to take the shape of a triangle. In fact, I'm just going to draw this triangle around the outside here. Because now what we can do is let's have a look at what the different side lengths are. Now first off, we know that this cut here is equal to... To the radius. So this is the one along the bottom there. That's the radius, okay? All these unraveled have a line that goes along there. We also know the distance around the outside here, around this particular outside part right here, okay? And we know what that equals because that is equal to the circumference. So that is going to be equal to 2 pi r. All right, so how would we go through now and work out the area of our shape? Well, I better give ourselves a bit of space, so I'm just going to move this across a little bit. Now, you can probably see where we're going to head now to prove the area of a circle. Because now we haven't got the area of a circle anymore, we have the area of a triangle that we're proving. So, let's use the area of a triangle. Now, the area of a triangle is pretty simple. The area of a triangle is equal to the base times the height divided by 2. So, what is the base of this triangle here? It's equal to the radius. What's the height of our triangle? Well, the height, well, that's the same as the circumference. That's equal to 2 pi r. The whole lot of this goes over 2. Now, we can solve the entire formula now. The 2s cancel each other out. And what are we left with? Well, this is pi. And we have radius times radius, pi r squared. The area is equal to pi r squared. That's cool, right? That's a really cool little visual proof 
of working out the area of a circle. But the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Now you know this part here. This is the end of the video part where I say, if you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Maybe you know some other visual proof that we could use to prove that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. I'd love to hear about it. As usual, a big thank you to my patrons. There is a link in the description below if you wish to support my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Anyway, we'll see you next time.